Hello and welcome back to the Nerd Melon Show. Every month, the Nerd Melon crew goes through tens and thousands of auction results and posts them to nerdmelon.com. For the most part, these are very regular run-of-the-mill auctions for comic books, video games, or Pokemon cards. However, on occasion, we come across something truly unique. So today, we're going to look at six of the most bizarre, extraordinary, unique, rare auctions that we've ever come across on the nerdmelon.com website. So today we're pulling our data from a recent nerdmelon.com blog post. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. The nerdmelon.com blog tends to focus on some of the more unique and unusual aspects to collecting. There's a million websites out there that will tell you fair market value and market trends and while well, you can do that with nerdmelon.com as well, we're in a unique position to be able to pull some of the more unusual and fascinating uh, data from pop culture collecting. We get our data from 10 of the largest online auction houses, way more than any of the other websites that you'll see. The first auction we're gonna talk about is one that we've talked about before on the show. This tiny scrap of Action Comics number one sold for $7,100 back in 2022. What makes this one unique is that there are no other examples of tiny scraps of comic books selling for such large amounts. Now, Action Comics number one is indeed one of the most sought after and valuable comics in collecting history. So it makes sense that someone might want to pay that amount of money for this tiny piece of pop culture history. But I'm curious if CGC would just know any comic by just a tiny scrap. We recently posted a video on CGC Graded Pages, and if you watched that video, you would have seen me slice up this comic book for dramatic effect. It's, uh, I think it's a Lost Boys comic book. So, I have some video games, uh, Pokemon cards, and comic books that I want to send off to CGC. So I'm just curious... If I send them a piece of this comic book, if they if they get it, I'll choose like a I'll choose a page with you know something specific on it so they have a chance. Let me just send that in and see if they get it. Next up, we have an extremely rare pair of Pokemon Converse Kicks. These were designed by Chuck Taylor and given to a very small number of Pokemon employees. This auction was labeled as a Pokemon card, which is how it made it to the nerdmelon.com website. But we looked into it anyway, and the auction came with the original shoelaces and the original box. So in other words, CIB, complete in box. Uh, it sold for about $4,300 back in 2022, but unfortunately, they were a size 10.5. And I'm a size 11. So even if I wanted to pay this much money for a pair of kicks, and I would, they wouldn't have fit me. For our next auction, we are going to turn that price dial way up to $73,000. This is a Crystal Pikachu that sold in 2022 for $73,200, limited to just 25 of these made. The original price was $25,000. It has since almost tripled in value. Now, you consider yourself a Pokemon collector. You've got some cards, you've got the video games, you've got a poster up on the wall and an Ash Ketchum hat. But, unless you have one of these 25 Crystal Pikachus on your shelf, you are nothing. Changing directions now to something a little bit more bizarre and definitely unique, this was originally labeled as a video game. What you're looking at here is the top of a jar of bath water. Yes, indeed. Uh, Belle Delphine, a British internet personality and model known for her provocative content on social media, took a bath in 2019, jarred up her bath water, and sold it to her horny fan base for $30 a pop, which ultimately turned out to be an extremely good investment considering just two years later this same bath water sold for almost six thousand dollars us next up is an auction for a horrible video game that had a huge impact on the video game collecting industry this is a copy of et extraterrestrial 
for the Atari 2600. The game was shit. So back in 1983, Atari took all their unsold inventory and shoved them into the dump at uh, Alamogordo in New Mexico. But then in 2014, the production company called Fuel Industries performed an excavation to get all of these old video games back. The event was highly publicized and marked a significant moment in video game collecting history. This game was graded by WADA and given a gen or genuine grade. They didn't give it a number grade because the condition of the game isn't what's important here. It's that it's a rare and historically significant game. After all, the game was removed from a dump, so of course it's in horrible condition. So what WADA wanted to do was authenticate that the game came from the Alamogoro dump excavation, and I know I'm probably saying that word completely wrong. Before we get to our final auction, an honorable mention goes out to this Spider-Man Kool-Aid pack, which apparently sold for $500 back in 2022. Now this was a best offer auction, so we don't know the final negotiated sales price. We are guessing that it went for a lot less than $500. However, unopened Kool-Aid packs are now considered collectible, so we thought we'd include this auction in our list today. And finally, we have something very truly rare and very unique. This is a 24 karat gold plated Nintendo Wii console created as a gift for the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. Now, unfortunately, Buckingham Palace has a very strict gift policy on gold-plated video game consoles, and somehow this beauty didn't make the cut, so it was returned to the manufacturer later to show up at auction uh, in February of this year, 2023, for $16,800. Now, this makes us very sad because the thought of watching the Queen playing Nintendo Wii makes us happy. However, that doesn't stop us from using AI-generated technology to help envision this beautiful sight. This AI-generated image is the thumbnail we ended up using for this video. The Queen is looking very super heroic with that gold Wii controller in hand. Here are another two that we considered for the thumbnail. And here are a few that we rejected. The AI just didn't quite get these ones right. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Nerd Melon Show. All of your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, if you know of any other unique, bizarre, or extraordinary auctions, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Nerd Melon Show.